Uh, here's a quick video about a very common shell check error using a really common technique for uh, truncating a file. So the first question I have, pause the video, see if you know the answer. So what does this do? There's a, there's a greater than sign there and it's pointing to temp buff, right? What does that do? Um, what this does is if, if people, people look at this, I've had people open issues on my dot files on this program, by the way, on my YYY program, because they have no idea that I'm using it as a filter command for BI. They're like, you shouldn't be doing that. T does the same thing. I'm like, okay. And the truth is I could, I could replace this with T, but then I would have a subshell. I don't want a subshell. I want this thing to run without any subshell dependencies because I do it all the time. That's why it's that way. In fact, I should probably write that at some point in there so I don't get another issue in my own dot files. By the way, who does that? So um, you're doing this wrong. This is done in the T command. Twitch bot, hey, live coding, what's up? So, so here we go. We've got, so here's the colon thing. Uh, <laughs> so I have, I have a redirect to temp up and it tells me right here, this redirection does more and it's using the shell check liner in AL. Stay tuned, watch another video about that or join my live stream anytime. I'll come and do that. I'm doing, right now we're doing terminal tweaks and, and fighting about all kinds of things. Uh, it's really fun though. So, and this is just a regular little bin, 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 bin SH, but to prove that it, this is also a problem in bash, there you go. It, it, it's a problem everywhere, right? So you need a command here. And there's no less than like five ways to accomplish the same thing. Could I do this? I could do rm slump 10 buff for sure. I could do that if it didn't exist, but then I would have to redirect standard error if it doesn't exist. I don't think rm, RM is silent. I don't know. You know, a little bit of it. I mean, I want something easy. This is something I also do on the command line all the time. Um, another thing you could do is you could put a command here. So <clears throat> shell check is actually recommending you put true here to do the thing. But I want to show you the most powerful technique uh, for doing things that do not have a command that is possible in Shell that's been supported since the very dawn of time. This is present in so many advanced uh, Shell scripts for people who've been around the block a lot. So, so pay attention because you're about to learn a very advanced but very simple technique for Shell uh, that will make you look cool. <laughs> like the, we saw Guardians of the Galaxy 3 the other night. It's my favorite Marvel Marvel movie and they're like, did that look cool? <laughs> there you go. That's it. That's it. So the a lot of people don't know that colon is a command in all shells since the beginning of time. And so this is a great way to say, hey, I want to do something that I would normally do from the shell that, that does not have a command. That fixes it. Uh, you might be asking, well, what, that's kind of stupid. Why would you do that? And, you know, because it's easy to do, you don't need it on the command line when you're just doing things. But, but let me show you something else. So if you cd to, to install, um, to install Ubuntu, you can use this technique. Uh, actually, let me go back to my Kate's app. Uh, Ubuntu is it over here? Did I not have it? Oh wait, we're on a Bastion. Let's go on Bastion. Let me find Bastion. Oh, let's go back. Oh wait, let's do this. Unix system. <laughs> All right, let's go to Bastion. Uh, we're doing stuff here, so I'm trying to find. Okay, here we go. So CD Kate Sap uh, Harbor, and so here I have a build script that uses this technique uh, for something that's much more valuable. This this is one of the most. I I absolutely love this technique. This is a, a really common shell technique for saying for making this this is an argument destroyer and i mean like arguments like i absolutely hate passing and parsing arguments in my shell scripts i hate it and so does my team my team has hated it too so we have started doing this in fact i have showed somebody this and then i ended, it ended up showing up as, as part of our standard specification for kate's apps and what this does is it says hey i have this thing here there's anytime you have some fanciness like in this case bash um is it's setting up what the default arguments are, right? And so, yeah, I can make a whole video just on default arguments in Bash. Notice how they're all caps. Separate video about that. All caps means it comes from the outside environment. Um, this allows you to overwrite it, even though these are these are already hard coded as as uh, lowercase in our system. So so those have to be. But this means that this is just a really great thing to put at the beginning of your shell script and say, I want to allow my behavior to be changed by changing the environment. And if you work with containers, you know how that works. Uh, but I also want to set a default. 
So you set the default here. The defaults are all really well declared. And this, any of these things, was, was shell check would immediately scream at me uh, if it were working. It's not because it's not on here right now. No. Yeah, I'll fix that. I, 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 there's a there's a bug. Watch my. I have another video about why this is broken. Uh, mostly because shell check is not checking my stuff right now. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's 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 not. I'm gonna show you the other one so you can get you can see shell check complain. Um, Kate's. Oh, we don't have it. Clone, Kate's app. And my clone is a function. It has to be a function because it changes directories, which you have to do in a function, not a command, because it's it's a persistent thing. Kate's app harbor. Okay, let me clone this thing. Okay, so now we're in the harbor thing. So now, now we're in the same place we were before, just on a different machine. Now I'm back on my Mac, my Unix system. Um, or am I? Oh, wait, wait. Uh, switch. Modernize. All right, so build. All right, so here it is. But I want to show you. Hopefully, she'll check. Will yell at me. No, it didn't. It's supposed to yell at me. Why is it not yelling at me? Why is it not yelling at me? Anyway, that was I was doing it. We found it on the redirection thing. Let me do this shell check. I'm sort of intrigued by this now. What? Shell check doesn't catch that? That's super fascinating. I did not know that, but you should do it anyway. You should do it. You should do that anyway. It's an it's a it's an empty command, and then you know what? I wonder if it's a, a shell thing. What the hell? I could have swore that was a shell check thing. I can't believe that's passing shell check right now. It isn't. The other stuff is also not passing it. So this is actually a different problem. Yeah, which we're going to fix right now. <laughs> this is because, yeah, here we go. So now, now shell check's finding all kinds of stuff. All right, so th there's another video about how to fix that to get that to work. Um, and clearly it's uh, it hasn't been fixed yet on here. I'm going to do that. But um, so there you go. That that shows you uh, the stuff. So if I change this back to bash, yeah, it's fine. Interesting. This is all, see all these things? This is, These are all problems because the syntax is wrong for this particular thing now. Because you see the type down here is a sage. It's a separate issue. Anyway, this video is about the colon command and how you can use that to do redirection. So I'll end the video there.